It did it. Nice. All right. Hey YouTube, Josh here from RC Ranch. In today's video, I go to this little pond and it's dried up right now, but if you watch any of my other videos, you've seen uh, that, I, that I came here on the XR50 like two months ago, uh, three months ago maybe. It was before I had the 450 and the water was up to where you can see on uh, the tree branch, like right there was where the water was. So, the 450 would be up to the handlebars at least in water right now. I'm getting better. the GoPro mount is on the end of the helmet and it just makes for a much better perspective I think it's it's tough to see the screen but you can still see it I think if it was out more and up it'd be easier but um, yeah it makes for a nice little mount Much better on the 450. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I came here a while back on the XR50. That was before I had this. I don't know how you're supposed to get over something like this. Now that I got the front tire over, that's the hardest part. I think, or maybe it's the back, I don't know. Now the chassis on. Oh, that's kinda cool. Not what I wanted to do though. I think I need another run. Yeah, I definitely don't know what I'm doing here.
solid it looks like. Oh, maybe not. No water in that one. Toughest part of the field back there. The reason is because it's so soft. This is all nice and hard packed, and that's soft. It's been ripped up by a disc or something. is right there and those are the grain bins that's where the pond is and you can see where my uncle's been working the land here like all that all this that just little patches here and there Another zip tie here. 